Uh, one time I did a show, uh, same kind of setup, and a lady came in the room, in the back of the room, this way, and I would describe this woman as the drunkest person you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> you guys have seen this type of drunk where like every step is somehow in a different direction. <laughs> like they're playing like Dance Dance Revolution with themselves. <laughs> Just like on an alcoholic's treadmill. Like so many steps going nowhere. And so she comes in and she's like drunk person loud, like where they're not saying anything, but they're saying everything. They're just like, oh, I get you. Like, got in Tom Brady in the bucket. And she's like, what are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? So she comes in and now she's making a ruckus. So the whole audience is looking at her. Everyone is now paying attention to her. So I have to address it. So all I say to defuse the situation is mom. <laughs> I told you to wait in the car. <laughs> Crowd loved it. My mom fucking hated it. <laughs> she was upset. And so she comes firing towards the stage, another 55,000 just b-boy steps at me. <laughs> and then I realized she's not coming towards me at all. She has no idea a fucking comedy show's even happening. She's on Mars. She is headed to a bathroom that is perfectly and conveniently located on the side of the stage. It's touching the stage. Like, for stand-up comedy, like when a joke bombs and no one laughs, that's a terrible feeling. But when a joke bombs and no one laughs, and then you hear a fucking toilet flush, <laughs> that's devastating. That hurts at a molecular level. And so she walks into the bathroom. She's in the bathroom for no time at all. She comes right back out, like five seconds. I think she thought it was like her apartment. She's like, this is too nice, and then walked out. It's mean. And so now, now I just have a drunk lady standing on stage with me. And I'm having a great time. I want to keep the joke going. So all I say is, does dad know where you're at? <laughs> he must be worried sick about you. Now, I don't know how much improv training this woman had had in her life, or just how drunk she was, because she looked at me just like straight dead, like stone cold in the eyes, and goes, I left your father years ago. <laughs> I was like, she's a genius. She's a goddamn genius. And then this is true, and I don't know why she fucking punched me as hard as she could. It's true, yeah. And so I'm big, I fucking knock her ass out, dude. She's dead now. Uh, call 911. I didn't do that, of course not. I gave her like the youth pastor side hug, like, please stop assaulting me, like not threatening. Also, I know I look like a mega church youth pastor, what up? <laughs> No worse. And so now I'm just like holding a drunk lady on stage. I'm just hugging her. And she's so drunk. Like she's like blackout, passing out. And I, it just, she's falling over. And it looks like I'm like romantically dipping her. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I bet this is what like frat dudes think salsa dancing is. <laughs> Becca, wake up, we're dancing. <laughs> also, fuck off. I know I look like that guy too. Hell yeah. Right. Relax. And so, <laughs> finally, someone from the bar comes and picks her up, takes her out, the bouncer's dragging her out, and I don't have a joke that can follow that. I don't have a joke better than a drunk lady, like, crip walking in, kind of taking a shit and punching the comedian. That's such a great show. <laughs> but luckily, I'm saved by her, because as she's being dragged out by the bouncer, with one last drunken muster of energy, she turns around and yells to everyone, Hurry the fuck up, the car's running. I was like, she's a genius. <laughs> she's a goddamn genius. All right, that's it for me. Thanks everyone, you guys are great. <laughs>